Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Monday, August 19th. I'm Chris Langlois. Before we get to your top stories, let's get your forecast from meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. Stefano, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Not a bad start to the day. A little patchy fog this morning, but most of us saw a dry start as we continue through the afternoon. Not everybody is going to be that lucky. Lunch hour looks okay, though. Clouds, some sunshine, and just a few spotty rain showers. A little bit later on in the afternoon, look what happens. More showers and storms end up bubbling up. It doesn't look like really, for the most part, anything on the severe side today, but because it is so humid, any thunderstorm could have a good heavy downpour with it. Near 90 in the eyewitness weather forecast, so hot, humid, shower or thunderstorm. The wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. We're in the 60s tonight, 80s tomorrow, and going into Wednesday. Each day humid, so a shower or thunderstorm. We do dry out for the weekend, cool down into the 70s, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. A meeting will be held today regarding the controversial decision by the state to close the Whitehaven Center. The meeting is for families who have loved ones at the center. It's home to more than 100 people who have physical and intellectual challenges. Today's meeting will be at 1 p.m. in the Keystone Gymnasium at the Whitehaven Center. A trouble on the Susquehanna River during the annual Dragon Boat races this weekend. The fan favorite event in Wilkes-Barre was stopped momentarily when one of the boats capsized. The Wilkes-Barre Fire Department was called in to help those in the water, but luckily no one was injured. The man accused of shooting six Philadelphia officers will be formally charged today. 36-year-old Maurice Hill allegedly shot the officers during an hours-long standoff at this home in North Philadelphia. Two other officers were trapped inside the home for about five hours. Hill eventually surrendered. He faces attempted homicide and aggravated assault on law enforcement charges. To follow our top stories, you can always do that over at our website, pahomepage.com.